But in Coleraine Township, one is causing concern for a local business owner who says it has made the road more dangerous. WCPO 9 News reporter Marielle Carbone takes us there and explains the problem. Well, press the button here and you'll likely be waiting a while to safely cross. Speeding cars that don't slow down is just one part of the problem. A ton of cars. And Jack Knapp says they don't stop. I guarantee you somebody will get killed within a year. It's one reason why he says this crosswalk installed by ODOT last year does more harm than good, leaving people in dangerous situations. Almost saw a lady and two kids get killed out there on a Friday night at about 5.30. Just scared me. Nab owns Nab Auto Body. This crosswalk on Coran Avenue between Burnside and Lapland Drives sits just in front of his shop. It's mid-block connecting the shop to the now vacant Kroger site. He says it's confusing for drivers, cutting off a center lane used for turns. In fact, he believes it played a part in this serious crash caught on camera outside his shop. It's just not a safe spot. We were seeing people crossing mid-block and there was nothing there for them. But Kathleen Fuller, spokesperson for ODOT's um, District 8, yeah. says there's a real need for this project. That's despite Kroger being gone. We still have a bus stop there at that location, so that's critical for those that might be you know, using a bus. It's also, we don't know what the future development might be. Basically, the decision was really made based on the pedestrian activity that's there, and we still have pedestrian activity there. She says the $600,000 project, which was completed last fall, started as a sidewalk project, but expanded to include a crosswalk because of pedestrian activity. As far as cars not stopping, I'd be dead by now. Speed is a matter of enforcement. People simply not heeding the warnings, not heeding the signs, and not doing what they're supposed to do. And Fuller says that she has referred this to ODOT Safety Department so it can take a look at the issue here, as well as talk to local law enforcement about possible ways to educate the public about this crosswalk here. Reporting in Coleraine Township, I'm Marielle Carbone, WCPO 9 News.